This video was made possible by E Creator Network. Special thanks for inviting me to this opportunity. EA Sports, in partnership with the United States Golf Association, so proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Today, we bring you coverage from this opening round. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. We've got a tie at the top at three under par. We head out to the course as we pick up the action on the tee at the par four fourth. This one started up the right side. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. And with that, we welcome Noda Begay III, four-time winner on the PGA Tour. And Noda, you've been in this spot, and, and every tournament is, in a way, a classroom. Maybe a classroom at Stanford, your alma mater. It's a chance to learn, isn't it? It, it really is, and the hardest thing is to temper your expectations and to keep the nerves under control because every single round from this point forward can be a stepping stone and an opportunity to learn and make your game better and move towards your ultimate goal of playing at the highest level. And this is looking really good. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when they lift the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. Eight feet remaining here for birdie. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four, and that's going to keep him at three under. On now to the number one handicap hole on the course. That is the 445-yard par four fifth. This one plays right along the bluffs of the Pacific. Keeping it straight here is the big key because trouble lurks on either side if your tee shot or your approach are wayward. This round's been a clinic so far, and it's another great drive and another good opportunity to make another birdie. Second shot coming up, just 97 yards left to the flag stick. Well, the ball is on the green. That's about all I can say with that. With a short wedge in hand, you'd expect that certainly be much closer than that. It's 
Defense tracking on a very good line. Look out. Oh, wow, that is some kind of putt. Perfect speed, perfect line. It's in for a birdie. And they're going to surge into the day one lead. The second part three of this front side, another long one, this sixth hole measuring out at 217 yards. That voice in your head will be telling you, don't go left, because if you do, you'll be down the cliff and onto the beach here by five mile point. Yeah, that one came in a little hot. It's safely on, but it'll be a long look coming up. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. And I think you need to start this one just outside the hole to the right and let that ball work its way slowly down the hill. Pace absolutely perfect there down the slope. It's in for a birdie. And the lead is now two here on day one. We head away from the coast now due east as we come to the par 47. A big wide fairway should make the tee shot manageable. But from there, this three tiered clover shaped green provides a lot of opportunities for three putts if that approach wedge. He is not dialed in. That will do just fine. Wasn't right down the middle, but it wasn't bad at all. Coming at this second shot from the right side of the fairway. That's a head scratcher, that approach shot from uh, relatively close in. I would have been looking at 10 to 15 feet. This one's going to need to carry some pace with it. A long one for birdie. Back up the slope. Can't leave it that short, can you? Ten foot putt left. Oh, 
No, nah, got it out there too far. It was trying to come back, but couldn't get there. Uh, nicely judged, though. It's 4-5 here at par 3. And that's going to drop them back down to 4 under par. So this a tremendous opening round for our featured players. Some of the best amateurs in the world are here, but they finish with an early share of the...